In this video, we see how to determine the perimeter and area of a kite. A kite is a quadrilateral where two pairs of adjacent sides are equal in length, the diagonals intersect at 90 degrees, and the one diagonal is bisected by the other. To determine the formula for the area of a kite, I'm going to divide this kite into two triangles. Now we can calculate the area of each triangle and add that up. For the blue triangle at the top, the area will be a half multiplied by its base of AC and its perpendicular height of DE. To this, we add the area of the green triangle. That is a half times its base, which is also AC, and its perpendicular height of EB. From here, we can do algebra similar to what we did with the area of a trapezium and take out the common factor, which is a half times AC. And then we'll be left with DE plus EB. If you have a look at the sketch, you will see that DE plus EB is the diagonal DB. And this we can substitute into the place of the brackets and say a half times AC times DB. AC and DB are the two diagonals of this kite. And that is why we can say that the formula for the area of a kite is a half times the product of the diagonals. The perimeter of a kite is still, like with any other polygons, the sum of the sides. Let's have a look at a few examples. Example 1. Calculate the perimeter and area of the given kite. For the perimeter, we already have all the information, because we know that there are two pairs of sides that are equal in length, and that means we have two sides of 5 meters and two sides of 8 meters. This will give us a perimeter of 26 meters. For the area, we need to determine half of the product of the diagonals. And in our kite, the one diagonal, AC, is given as 8 meters, and the other diagonal is given as 9,9. .9. So the area of this kite is 39,6 meters squared. In example 2, we are again asked to determine the perimeter and area of the kite. For the perimeter, we already know that we have two sides of 9,5 centimeters each, but we do not know the length of the other pair of sides. For this, we can make use of the theorem of Pythagoras and determine the length of the hypotenuse. We can make use of this theorem because we know that the diagonals of a kite intersect at 90 degrees. So, to start off, we're going to determine the length of Fg squared, and according to the theorem, this is 9 squared plus 12 squared. This gives us a value of 225, and the square root of that will give us Fg as 15 centimeters. So now we know the other two sides of this kite will be 15 centimeters each. So now we can determine the perimeter. The perimeter consists of two sides of 9,5 and two sides of 15. So the perimeter will be 49 centimeters. To determine the area, we need the lengths of the two diagonals. For the first diagonal, diagonal EG, we know it is 3 plus 12 centimeters, so 15 centimeters. And we know that the one diagonal is bisected by the other, and therefore diagonal FH consists of two parts of 9 cm each, and therefore is a total of 18 cm. And now we can substitute into our formula, having a half multiplied by the one diagonal of 18 and the other one of 15. So the area of this kite is 135 centimeters squared.